Hi everyone and welcome to an H5 product tutorial video. In this video we will show you the input and output features of the H5 recorder. The low cut filter can be used to remove any low end signal from your recording. You can apply the low cut filter to your capsule or the inputs. If you'd like to apply it to everything, select all. Once you select all, you can select the frequency that you want your low cut filter set at. It can also be used to remove some wind and background noise. When you return to the main record screen, you'll see a symbol for low cut next to your tracks. The next setting of the H5 is the compressor and limiter features. You can use this to compress or limit the inputs or your capsule. The compressor can be used to even out the level of your recordings. The compressor can be set to general, vocal, or drum, and the limiter can be set to general, concert, or studio. The limiter should be used when your signal is coming in too hot. When you return to the main recording screen, you will see the compression symbol next to your tracks. The next setting we will be looking at is phantom power. Once within this menu, select your voltage. Most condenser microphones require 48 volts to operate. Next, select on off and choose the tracks you want to apply phantom power to. When you return to the home screen, you will see that you have phantom power applied to inputs 1 and 2 on the bottom of your screen. The H5 also comes equipped with plug-in power for small lavalier microphones. The line input is located on your H5's capsule. The H5 also has a 20 decibel pad. To enable this, select the tracks you want to add it to and set it to on or off. Once enabled, you will see on the main recording screen that you have a pad on your line output. The MS Matrix allows mid-side miking with external microphones. This prevents the need for an MS decoder to be used in post-production. In this menu, you can also adjust your mid-level, side-level, and input settings. When you return to the main screen, you will see the MS icon next to your track. The MS RAW monitoring option can be used when monitoring using your MS capsule or MS matrix. This allows you to hear your center channel in one ear and your left and right channels in the other. Another feature available in multi-channel mode is the monitor mixer. You can come here to adjust the level and pan settings of each of your tracks. You can also set the line output level on your H5. This is useful when connecting to a DSLR camera. This eliminates the need for an attenuator cable. You can attenuate as much as negative 30 decibels of signal. The mono mix feature will allow you to take a single input and duplicate it onto your left and right channels. This is good when using a single microphone to record audio. For more product information and updates, please visit zoom-na.com.